Aloha. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. Today is December 2, 2016. My name is Master Paul Fletcher. I am deeply honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. In today's live stream, I will be focusing on day five of a five day series for reversing negativity. This has been one of the most well received series, so it's it points out that there's quite a bit of people suffering in the world today with the uh, emotion of negativeness. <clears throat> and it shows up in many different ways. And so today, we're going to be focusing on, specifically, I'm letting the, uh, the lag on the video catch up. Okay. So today we're going to be focusing on releasing our... Um, automatic response of being negative about things outside of us. On Tuesday, we focused on internal negativity, saying negative things to and about ourselves. Monday, we focused on a lack of self-worth. And on Wednesday, we focused on boosting and building confidence. Yesterday, we focused on uh, releasing the need for approval from outside of ourselves. And all of these have aspects of um, not staying in a positive place, being in a negative place. And so if uh, you who are watching this as a recording in the future are, um, are interested in watching those, uh, right up above this video is a link to my previous videos so you can watch them at that time. Uh, you can also scroll, go to my Facebook page and scroll down to see the previous ones. So it's two different ways you can watch them. So there are people still gathering at this time. So today's focus is on the negativity that we bring to us by focusing on those things outside of us. Now, a lot of this is based in our um, inability to be responsible for what is happening in our life. Uh, we don't know how to process the information. Uh, we might, for example, be upset about the political outcome in whatever uh, county, country, city, or organization that you're in. And so, um, we get involved in a negative communication with others at work. But how do you feel afterwards? Did it really make you feel better? In most cases, the answer is no. And so we're going to talk about some of the ramifications of our choices that we make when it comes to negativity as we move through the day. I want to apologize to all those in advance. I am going through some purification today. <coughs> uh, so you'll see me blowing my nose occasionally. Um, the thing about the purifications that I go through, they're typically 24 hours. If anybody's ever heard of a 24-hour cold, I'd be very surprised. But that's what happens for me. I literally go through about a 24-hour cycle of, of a cold, and then it's just gone like it never came. And that's why I clearly know it is not a cold. It is what is called spiritual purification. And it comes when there is um, uh, frequencies that my body is not able to handle yet, higher frequencies. And so I would just come back from retreat with Master Shaw. Typically, I will have a purification like I'm describing to you, either before the retreat, during the retreat, or at the end of the retreat. That's the history of the last seven or eight years. I will go through a 24-hour cycle where I'm just suffering, just like a severe cold. And I take cold medicines, and literally within 24 hours, it's gone like it was never there. Um, but this time, this is actually the last two retreats, no purification. I was very excited about that. But curiously enough, this one came around about uh, two weeks after this retreat. So it must mean that I'm going, uh, experiencing higher levels of frequency and the body is becoming more pure. So welcome to all those jumping in. Welcome to Vorka and daughter. Welcome Ilona from the UK. Late night for you. Welcome Petra, even later in Europe. Welcome CJ. Uh, welcome Shari. Welcome... Linda Jansen and Jean Wood and Tammy Hunter, good to see you. Welcome, Kathy. <clears throat> Michelle has joined us. Welcome. And Teresa Brown Ford, welcome, Chelsea. And I wanted to comment, to thank you for the uh, comments. You know, yesterday I was going back through and reading the comments and um, I brought tears to my eyes because. You know, I'm just delivering information. I'm doing the best I can to, to serve you, assist you to, um, to, to open up your soul, to, to be a better servant to humanity, because we cannot be a better servant unless we feel better ourselves. And I was very moved by some of the comments of how this series 
has assisted you, all of you. So I'm very grateful. So welcome Dana, welcome Tatiana, welcome Tawana, and uh, Stephanie Cannons just came. So good to see all of you. I will be sipping my hot five element tea. I'm very blessed about three or four years ago, Master Shah, uh, in the European nation, they're very, they love their teas. And so somebody brought many canisters of different types of tea. They were specially formulated and uh, they were labeled earth, fire, wood, metal, and water teas. And he put the power of heaven into them for b balancing your earth, wood, fire, metal, and waters. And so I bought those and uh, I mix them. And so I have all five teas uh, balancing all five energies. So that's typically what I drink uh, occasionally here and there and definitely when I'm going through purification. <laughs> so, all right. So we're starting to gather up most of the people today. Fridays are typically on the slow side. Only those who are really into serving their soul journey show up on Fridays. The rest of them are out having a drink at the bar with their friends. So let us connect heart to heart to soul to soul. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Drop our left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand remains gently pointed up towards heaven. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and release the day. Or if you're just beginning your day, then take a deep breath in and prepare for your day. Dear beloved divine, dear the Tao, dear the source, <clears throat> dear all layers of all committees in the divine Tao, the source of the original creator, we love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask that you please be present at this time to be with all of us that are watching this live stream, this video. Bless us each to align our hearts and souls to your hearts and souls. Bless us each to release negativity, to fully align to the positive nature that you are and is of your original energies. To the soul of all beings of light, including all light stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, <coughs> lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, masters, and ascendant masters, angels, healing angels, and archangels, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved, Namo Amitofu, Shakti Munifo, Medicine Buddha, Kuan Yin, A87 Buddha, Beloved Jesus, Beloved Mother Mary, Beloved Krishna, and all other beautiful souls that have come to humanity at this time to serve the light side. We love you, honor you, respect you, and again, I bow down to you. We ask for your presence at this time to please come sit in each of our heart centers and to bless us to receive the highest and greatest wisdoms today at this time that we might serve humanity with our greatest open heart. Bless us to release the negativity that comes to us both inside and from outside. Bless us to align our perspectives that we can be in the best position always to be of the greatest service. We ask <coughs> our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints to please be present at this time to continue to guide us as you have that we can align to our own soul and our own soul's journey. Dear the source soul song of love, peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask that you please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us as we join hearts and souls together. So let us chant. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, 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 Wang Ling Rong Her Mu Shi Shang Shang Ai Ping An He She Shang Ai Ping An He She I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls Together, 
Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. La, lu, la, li. Lu, la, lu, la, la, li. Lu, la, lu, la, la, li, lu, la. Lu, la, li, lu, la. Lu, la, li, lu, la. Oh, I wash in the hurling. Oh, I turn red lay. <coughs> One leaving round her busher shun. Shun I ping on her she. Shun I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, for those that came in late, I apologize. I'm going through some purification today. So I may blow my nose occasionally on air. Not the ideal thing to do, but better than sniffing the whole time. So welcome, Renee. And uh, welcome everybody else that I have not acknowledged. So if you have not already hit the share button, please do so. Maybe we'll be able to awaken a few more souls and assist them through any negativity they might be experiencing. <clears throat> so one of the things I wanted to cover today was <clears throat> a teaching on karma. And it's related to negativity. Uh, it's a, a sentence that Master Shah has repeated many times. And it's interesting because I've had to actually listen to it many times before I, I understood it, before I, I was able to repeat it. And um, I see uh, Johannes, uh, thank you so much for being here and sharing. Thank you, uh, Angie, good to see you as well. And what he teaches is that when others around you are gossiping or being negative, now this is you just listening, he said that if you say nothing, then you create karma. Because it's as if you are saying it's okay. It's as if you are in agreement with that negativity. And he said, so even if your mouth is closed and you say nothing, heaven still gives you spiritual debt. Now that was a very enlightening the first time I had heard that. I was like, really? I would think that if I said nothing and just, you know, minded my own business, that I wouldn't get any karma. But if I'm listening and I'm, you know, not saying anything about it, then the answer is yes. <clears throat> and it took me a while to, to work with that one. Um, you know, because we want to, to argue. It's like, well, wait a minute. I'm not the one saying anything. Why should I get it? And part of it's because we are one. And part of it is because we have a voice. We could say something. We could say something. And what his suggestion is, excuse me, could you please change the subject? I really don't wish to hear that right now. That's the verbiage that, that he has repeated many times. And he suggests that we do that when somebody is gossiping. He suggests that we do that when somebody is speaking negative to or about another. Okay? Excuse me. I'm really not interested in hearing that kind of conversation right now. Would you mind changing the subject? Now that person might become defensive. They might become... Um, uh, their ego might be challenged, but that's okay. If you've done your part, whether they choose to move forward and communicate that or not, you've done your part. You've, you've basically told heaven, um, I'm doing my best to honor my soul and my soul's journey and not get caught up in this negativity. So the question becomes, why do we think and say negative things to those outside of us? Why do we enjoy or allow listening to negative things as well. 
And this is really the crux of a lot of the, the wisdom, blessings, and teachings that are going to occur here today. Because when we can start to identify those, we're going to understand that it's not much different than negative self-talk. Uh, in the past four, five, six months, you've heard me offer a re repeatable uh, process in which we can identify, first we become aware of the problem area, and then we acknowledge it with love, right? So let's say that, that in drawing a correlation between past teachings and this teaching today, let's say that in the past you identify a, um, a automatic response where <clears throat> you realize that you are um, ac uh, accepting a negative self-thought about yourself and not, not being worthy of being loved by somebody else. And you catch it. And you say, oh, thank you. This first thing is catch it, being aware. The second step is honoring it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to transform you to light. You may have served me at some point in time, but now you're no longer serving me. I wish to transform uh, my thinking and my processes to much more loving process. And then we chant love, peace, and harmony. This has been the repeatable step-by-step uh, -step process that I suggest to you. And yet, when we look at something like negativity from both outside of us and our negativity towards another, it actually has the same, and in many cases, even more detriment to us and our soul journey if we don't do anything about it. <clears throat> I see the video's lagging a bit, so I decided to take a drink and return. It's still lagging. Um, so, then we voice our negativity out loud. What do you think is the reason we are voicing it out loud when others are around us? What is the deeper underlying reason? Any idea? I'll tell you what I believe is the reason we do it. It's so that we can have our opinion validated, so that we can feel better about ourselves and our opinion, so that we can have a validation of being the victim. Because when we, we say anything negative about something that is we observe, or something that is impacting us, what we're saying is, I'm a victim. What we're saying is, I am not in control. What we're saying is, <clears throat> I, am, uh, I am just a cog in the machine, and I have no say over the matter. We do it, as Kathy has put it, to fit in, to, to be one of those that, like yesterday, what was the subject? Uh, need for approval, that's fitting in, it's very similar. Okay, so there's an agenda behind it is the point. There's always a reason why we say or do anything. There is a payoff. When we allow a consistent negative self-talk about I'm not worthy of, of love, okay, or why can't I ever have love, or whatever that negative self-talk is of any kind, there's always a payoff. We might not realize that there's a payoff, but why else would it continue to return? It's, it's a panacea for something. It's curing something. It's pushing down something or covering up something. And that therein lies the payoff. Even if it's covering up something that needs to be healed, the payoff is there in the cover-up. So there's always a payoff when we are negative to anything outside of us. And this payoff <coughs> needs to be observed. We need to stop and look at why. Am I agreeing with this negativity? Why am I allowing it in my life? Why am I focusing on it or uh, spitting my poison out so that others can also be poisoned? Because that is a lot of what happens when we, when we espouse any negativity. So part of reversing negativity is becoming aware of what is the payoff. How can we um, go about identifying what is the result. I find that, that for some people it's easy to identify, for others it's not so easy. It's like looking at a blank wall. They're like, I don't get it, I don't know why I'm doing it. So sometimes it does require us to ask our soul or ask our heaven's teams to give us some guidance. This is, this is where we, we need to go outside of our box because our soul is always talking to us. How many times has your, has your soul told you who's going to call before they call? Or has given you a warning, don't do that, and so you don't do it and you avoid a problem. Your soul is always talking to you and your heaven's team is always talking to you. Sometimes you hear them, sometimes you don't. 
But little, little do people know you can ask them questions and they will give you the answer. So this is a good example. Dear my soul, I caught myself being negative a little while ago here and I'm unable to identify the reason why. Can you please give me insights as to the reason why? And I will keep my ears and my mind open to when you tell me. Now you could get no response you know, at all and just go about your day doing whatever you're doing. But later that day, while you're grocery shopping, all of a sudden you'll get the insight. And you'll get the aha, and you're like, oh, that's why I'm doing it. Wow. And you thank your soul or your heaven's team for that insight. So your soul and your heaven's team, they have the answers. But we fail to recognize the value in just asking them and then waiting for the answer to come. It works very well. You should try it. Try it the rest of your life. It will work very, very well. Kathy also comments, to bring you up while putting others down. Yes, this is a typical response of, of um, low self-esteem. This was the subject on Monday. <clears throat> when we have low self-esteem, when there is the bully, what is the bully doing by, by bullying others, by putting down others? It pushes them up so that they don't have to deal with their low self-esteem. These are the hidden agendas that lie underneath. There's a, there's a lot of them. And it boils back to the need for aligning our heart and soul to the divine's heart and soul it boils back to having self-love and aligning our heart to the divine's heart when we accept the divine's love when we uh, do efforts and activities thoughts words and actions that are approving of all the different ways that god gives us love that god uh, shows us god's beauty um, just walking outside and the smell of the fresh grass that was just cut that's God's love, that you have the olfactory senses that you can appreciate the smell of fresh cut grass. And then when you uh, are walking by and you see one lone yellow flower that popped up, uh, stopping and acknowledging that even for a few seconds, that's God's love. Acknowledging that something came through beautiful through this very difficult condition. There was only one of them. And it's a message. So there's these messages everywhere, but we're just so busy walking past them, we don't stop to acknowledge the divine's love in every different place. God's love is also when we're catching ourselves in a negative position. When we literally continually have that, that thing keep happening to us, that same wrong person keep coming to us in the form of a different relationship, or we can't seem to get ahead financially, that is also the divine's love. How so? Because it's about perspective. Why else would the, these, these conditions return to us if it wasn't for us to learn from them and to permanently release them? That's a very high level of love. It's very much like a very good parent that gives the child the opportunity to climb where he couldn't climb before by giving him a little bit of a, of a hint. This is the direction you need to go to get to that next step. But we stay in our victim role. We stay in the role of uh, looking outside of us for attention. We stay in the role of saying negative things about others to lift ourselves up. We stay in this role of not taking responsibility. And so the blessings that will be uh, uh, practiced today will be about releasing, releasing the patterns that we have adopted into our life that keep us in these um, false circles, these false eddies where we just circle around and circle around, self-validate our victimhood, self-validate our lack, self-validate our, our, our whatever our suffering is. Okay, We're going to do the blessings to release these patterns and to make us aware of where and when these patterns arise because that is the divine's love that is the way in which we get out of these never-ending patterns so to speak we become aware of them that's the first step the second step is to love them the next step is to transform them and the final step is to choose a different uh, way of communicating and so um, let's use a real life example where you're going to leave this live stream today and you'll go back into the public eye. Maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's tonight. 
You could be walking at the park, walking your dog at the park, and you see somebody else walking their dog, and they allow their dog to poop on the cement when everybody else poops on the grass. And uh, you feel this negativity come up about how that person is being disrespectful and blah, 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 blah. There's different ways that this can be addressed. First is to recognize that everyone and everything is a mirror. Everything is a mirror. So we can get more and more irritated and become negative about whatever it is we're observing outside of us. And we can look at it and we can go, okay, I'm negative right now. I'm feeling irritated right now. I have a choice. I can go with this irritation and not serve my heart, my soul journey, close my heart. Or I can choose to look a little bit deeper as to why I'm negative about this. I was trained that it's disrespectful to do that. I was taught that I need to be more loving uh, and considerate of others. I'm observing, observing, not blaming, not judging. I'm observing this person does not have the same understandings that I have grown up with of consideration and respect. And I'm observing that I become irritated when I see others outside of me not having consideration and respect. So I will do something to love and honor myself. I will acknowledge that I'm grateful to all those teachers that taught me respect. I will acknowledge that uh, I have an open heart still in this observation and that this person could use some love and respect and consideration. So I will speak to their soul, which is what you can do, that is uplifting and honoring. Whereas if you go to talk to them, what's the response probably going to be? Probably defensiveness. So instead of getting irritation, feeling like you're helpless, you acknowledge where this irritation <laughs> excuse me, coming from. Wow, purification, yay. And so... Uh, you acknowledge where the irritation is coming from. Give yourself credit for receiving uh, guidance that has allowed you to be aware of this blockage area. And then if it's something outside of you, which is in this case of this example, you say, ah, dear this soul, I'd like to offer you a gentle teaching, a loving teaching about being respectful and honoring to others. Please forgive me for having irritation towards you. It's my stuff. But I'm grateful for this opportunity to communicate with your soul that maybe in the future you might choose a different tact and be more respectful of others. So this is an example of catching things in the moment and identifying the source of them. Almost always it's a mirror. Our irritations are almost always a mirror. Excuse me a moment. Okay. So welcome, Robrett. Welcome, uh, Sharon Lackey. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Welcome, Barka. Welcome, <coughs> uh, Master Robin. And um, if anyone else I've not mentioned to you, please forgive me. So enough of the basic understanding. The key is, as we do this blessing, we're going to ask it to release our attachment to being a victim. We're going to ask this blessing to make us more aware of why we choose negativity, gossiping and whatnot, about those things outside of us. So that when that shows its ugly face, we can address it right there. And we can honor it and love it. This is how we melt blockages. We melt it with love. We have to identify it before we can melt it with love. Then we can... Uh, chant a few minutes, let it dissolve, let the higher frequencies take care of it, and we can choose a different perspective. Whatever that different perspective is, as long as it's honoring and loving and doesn't hurt anybody, then we've leveled up. And that lesson that keeps coming to us then becomes more learned, and we don't have to repeat again and again and again. These are the steps, these are the process, okay? <clears throat> so everybody here has received the uh, Tao Light transmission. I don't see any new names here of anyone that has not received it. Actually, I think there is one or two, so I'm going to offer this dial light transmission uh, because we're going to be using this today. Um, so, prepare to receive. For those that have already received it, you're going to receive a boost. This is the Dow Golden Light Ball and Dow Golden Liquid Springs of Dow Light Soul Mind Body Transplant from Master Shah's book, which is the Dow Song and Dow Dance. 
If it's not something you wish to receive, please just please tell heaven, I'm not interested in receiving this at this time. For all who have not received this, prepare. This is to be offered to all who watch this video now and in the future as appropriate. Dao Order, Dao Golden Light Ball, Dao Golden Liquid Springs of Dao Light, Soul Mind Body Transplants. To all those watching now for the first time, as appropriate if they wish to receive it. Transmission, turn on 24 7. Transmission, join as one. Transmission. How? Thank you. Thank you, countless by down to this most benevolent soul. Uh, this Tao Light Ball and Tao Liquid Spring of Tao Light is an extraordinary healing being. We have been using it all week and it has created miracles already. I have seen people responding with the benefits that they're getting already. Okay, so now we're going to use this Tao Golden Light Ball and Tao Golden Liquid Springs to reverse our negative patterns. Okay? So we're going to start with doing a forgiveness practice. So place your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Close your eyes. Repeat after me with this forgiveness practice. Dear all souls, dear the souls of my ancestors, please come. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you in this or any time, I and my ancestors sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have created conditions in which you felt extremely negative towards ourselves or others, if we have brought thoughts or words or actions to you that created high levels of negativity, judgment, criticism, high levels of self-judgment, self-criticism, lack of self-love. If I or my ancestors have communicated with you in such a way to belittle you, to bring you down, gossiped about you. Truly, I and my ancestors sincerely apologize. We deeply, deeply, deeply apologize and regret these wrong thoughts, words, and actions. We ask that you consider offering your forgiveness. We understand that you have been harmed very deeply and that to ask for forgiveness is simply not enough. That we must serve, that we must release these patterns and be kind and loving to ourselves and to others. We sincerely apologize and we will continue to serve. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear the Tao Light and Tao Liquid Springs, Light Ball, we love you, we honor you, respect you, and we thank you for your presence. We ask that you please bless all of on the line to clear the Shen Qi Jing blockages that create a repeating pattern of negativity, of gossiping, of being the victim of complaining. We ask that you bless each of us on the line to become more awakened and aware of the times when we communicate and it from a place that is not loving or honoring to others or about others. <clears throat> we ask that you make us aware that we can transform these dark thoughts to light. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Tao Light reverses negative thinking is the first chanting. I want you to visualize 
the Tao light in your message center, in your mind, reversing negative thinking. Let us chant. Tao light reverses negative thinking. 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 See the light shining. Tao light reverses negative thinking. 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 Tao light reverses criticism and judgment. Tao light reverses criticism. Tao light reverses 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 judgment. See the Tao light spinning in your heart center, clearing the blockages in your mind, in your heart. Tao light reverses criticism. Tao light reverses judgment. 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 Tao light heals and creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao <coughs> light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light heals my heart. Tao light creates self love. Tao light creates awareness. Tao light releases victimhood. 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 Tao light 
creates awareness. Tao Lai releases victimhood. Tao Lai creates awareness. Tao Lai releases victimhood. Tao Light creates awareness. Tao Lai releases victimhood. Tao Lai creates awareness. Tao Lai releases victimhood. Tao Lai creates awareness. Tao Lai releases victimhood. Tao Light releases the need for approval. 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 Tao Light opens my heart. Tao Light opens my heart. Tao Light opens my heart. Thou 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 light fulfills my love. 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 <coughs> Continue to chant, Thou light fulfills my love, and I will offer you a soul reading and third eye as to what is happening at this time. <coughs> my dear beloved, this is the soul of Thou light. Each of you are receiving heavens, tremendous love and light. Each of you and your heart centers is fully opening like the blossoming of a lotus flower. There are many light fairies that have come to each of you by the hundreds of thousands. From the center of your heart center they are coming out and they are waving their beautiful wands of light clearing blockages in your heart centers, bringing the Divine's love, or should I say, releasing what has always been there, because now the blockages have cleared to allow the release. Thou Light is clearing lifetimes of self-doubt, self-deprecation, lifetimes of self-judgment, lifetimes of negative thinking about self. Tao Light is releasing 
old memories, mindsets, and beliefs that you have held negative about self. Tao Light is releasing patterns of blockages, old thinking, thinking that has been not serving you in this modern day, thinking that came to you as a result of your teachings, your karma, teachings that have caused you to be the strong and worthy soul you are today, but no longer serve a purpose. These are all being released as you are chanting Tao Light. Tao Light heals and opens my heart. Tao Light heals and opens my heart. With a smile, Tao Light heals and opens my heart. Tao Light heals and opens my heart. Thou 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 light heals and opens my heart. <clears throat> if where you're at, you can stand and start moving your body, start doing soul dance, get yourself up, start moving your body, start dancing. Thou light heals and opens my heart. 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 Move your body. Thou light heals and opens my heart. 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 Thou light, send your light to everybody. Thou light heals and opens my heart. 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 A few more minutes. Thou light heals and opens my heart. 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 Last round. Thou light heals and opens my heart. 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 How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you have a smile on your face? Is energy moving through your body? Have you released negativity? Releasing negativity can be simple. Step one, awareness. Step two, love. Ah, I see you. This negative mindset, this thought, this judgment, this criticism, whether it's towards self or something to the outside of us. Awareness is the first step. Step two, I love you. You have the ability to transform yourself. You have served me well my whole life, but I no longer need you. 
to do this service for me. I ask you to transform, return to the light. Step three, chant with a mantra like what we did. You have each received this Tao light ball and Tao liquid springs, permanent Tao treasure. It is on your soul forever. You can use it each and every time you have a negative thought, a judgment, a criticism, whether it's about self or others. You want to transform this deeply rooted thought because it's been following you for lifetimes, most likely. And we need the higher frequencies of the divine, the Tao, light. We need the higher frequencies to transform these negativities. And so, awareness is the first step. Love is the second step. Apply higher frequencies to transform it for several minutes. The longer, the better. If you wonder why it might return the next day or a week later, you did not spend enough time transforming it. So you repeat the process. And then finally, replace the patterns with a better choice. Replace the pattern of complaining about something or yourself with love. Replace the patterns with, if it's something outside of you that brings irritation to you, recognize it's a mirror or an opportunity for you to learn. And if you feel the need to say something to that individual or soul outside of you, speak to their soul. You know, when I see that uh, you are um, allowing your pet to poop on the cement, it brings um, frustration to me because it does not consider it. And you're saying this to their soul. I would greatly appreciate it if you would be more considerate of others and in the future make a conscious choice. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to speak to your soul. In this way, you don't take it so personally. You acknowledge that you were taught differently and they were not taught the same um, ways of, of respect. And you do not allow yourself to go down a negative path and create karma. So we always want to become aware of the different ways in which they shows up in our life. And if we can control our thoughts, our words, our actions, which we can through awareness, through love, and through transforming them with Master Shah's techniques, we can literally prosper the remainder of our life. This is a duplicatable process wherever negativity shows up in your life. So let me read some of the comments. I'm so happy that all of you are sharing. Um, we have... And welcome, Master David. I don't know if you're still with us, but welcome. Love to see you here. Thank you for joining us. And then Tawana, first tears, she felt warmth, like she was being hugged, and she started smiling. Yeah, that was fun, huh? Did any of you get up and do some soul dancing? I tell you, that's uh, not used enough. It's one of Master Shah's teachings. Get up, move the body, chant something wonderful. All the Shen Chi Jing blockages release much easier. I can't do that because I have to be here in front of you, but you could. But my soul was dancing. It was definitely twirling in a circle. Uh, Teresa Brown felt tingling at the top of her head. That's wonderful news. That means that the, 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 the old is moving out. The, the circulation in the energy system is occurring. Uh, Tawana says, thank you. Uh, Shari says her crown open. <laughs> CJ, wow, what a wonderful feeling. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Ruchi coming in from India. Great to see you, Ruchi. You're very welcome. And it felt really good. First time actually that she felt that, Teresa said. Great. I feel a sneeze coming on, so excuse me a minute. <coughs> so far the purification's been mild <laughs> during this hour. I thought it was going to be a lot more, but so far not too bad. Um, and uh, Pat says, hello, Master Paul, better late than never. Teresa, yes, she did. Tammy says, yes, she's felt some, some excellent movement. Abigail, she just came on. The energy here feels so light. Yes, Abigail. Make sure you go back and watch the whole uh, recording. And then Ilona, so powerful. My, all my sleep has gone away. Ready to meet Master David in London. Yes, London is very blessed to have Master David join them. And then Chelsea, thank you so much. Thank you all. The dancing, it felt beautiful. I hope you all got up and did some dancing. It's very fun. It's, uh, it's uh, one of the best ways. You know, soul dancing versus the practice where we sit here and we chant, chant, chant. Think of it like this in terms of, of visuals. One of them is vertical. One of them is horizontal. Uh, so when, for example, we're, we're sitting here and we're chanting, we're releasing blockages horizontally. When you get up and you move, 
of your body, all the other, the, the stuck mindsets, the, the really hard rooted stuff, when you start moving your body, those release. So then you get both directions, okay? So think of it like that. All right, so I've got some great sharing. Thank you so much. Let me blow my nose one more time. Please forgive me. <laughs> so this is the last day on my series on reversing negativity. Uh, it came together very well. Again, the, the steps are very simple. Identify the different areas in your life that could be bringing negativity. For some of us, it's a lack of self-worth. For some of us, it's um, looking outside of us for approval, the need for um, validation. For some of us, it's fear of being alone, fear of abandonment. Others, it could simply be a lack of confidence. It could be that we need to boost ourselves up by picking on others, saying things about others, negative out-talk, judgments, criticisms. All of these are bringing negative karma to us or they're keeping us in patterns where we are not in a positive place. They're all inhibiting us from opening our heart. When our heart is open, we are aligning to the divine. When we align to the divine, we are moving forward on our soul journey. We are serving our soul's intention. When we open our heart, how can we say something judgmental or negative about somebody else? We're just not in a place where we can do that. So all of the practices, the wisdom, teachings, and blessings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to us, the chanting of love, peace, and harmony, and everything else I've used in all of the live streams, is here to assist us to release those thoughts, words, and actions, those patterns that we have adopted since childhood that we repeat. It's, a lot, it's about becoming aware of them and then being empowered with tools that can release them. We have the tools, we have the wisdom, we have the higher frequencies. They're free. They're there. We just have to apply them with the practices. If you are interested in the divine services to move them through dramatically faster, release 10, 20, 30 years of practice in two minutes, then connect with me on the divine services. <clears throat> I listed them in the videos for the last of uh, this week. I'm not going to go into great detail again, but um, basically there's a crown chakra blessings for releasing the negativity, for boosting your confidence, for uh, releasing negative self-talk, if that's where your blockage area is. You can also receive that. That's $100 honor fee. I have a special blessing, which is the Diamond Heart Jindan, and I'm doing that in combination with Open Heart and Soul Calligraphy, and that's only 75. That's an amazing treasure for opening your heart and releasing these kinds of self-judgment blockages. That's huge. And then for those that have significant issues, major uh, depressions, major anxieties, major fears, major worries, major negativity, then you want to receive the uh, healing and transmission system. The honor fee is higher, it's 300. It includes light wall protection, new energy and matter, the releasing of those blockages as appropriate. It is beyond extraordinary. The package, if you're interested, is all three. The healing and transmission system, the crown chakra blessing, and the, the tracing with the heart jindan, and all three are the honor fee of only 300 if you wish to get that package or the other two there's a package with those so um, you can find that information by going back to yesterday's videos also I will go back after this when I hit post this video and I'll go in and, and make a comment and put that visual in there so you can see the choices if that's of interest to you one final comment before I leave you is um, <clears throat> it is the holidays so if you uh, you want to offer a healing to somebody, but you're, you're not sure how to accomplish that. You know that they can benefit from a healing blessing for reversing a major issue in their life. There is gift certificates now available on my website. You can also call me 808-469-6199. And a gift certificate is an excellent way to offer healing to others. Um, there is, if it's in your family, of course, then approval is not needed. Um, I just check heaven's guidance, make sure it's okay. If it's a friend or somebody like that, you will need their approval. Uh, and the gift certificates start at $50 and then you can add 25 to them. So it's an excellent way to introduce somebody to soul readings and or healings. And it's an excellent gift. So I love you all. Make sure you contact me if you have any questions. Uh, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Of course, 
anywhere through my website. You can contact me very easily. And of course, through Facebook Messenger. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great time. Don't allow any negativity in. Use these processes to transform them. You have received Tao Light. It is yours forever. Use it everywhere in your life. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody.